made my choice, Addy. I'm calling her the Jackdaw. A sly bird I loved as a child back in Swansea. A dark little creature, no? Did it rub you wrong when I took this brig as mine own? <laughs> it was the sort of rub I have learned to enjoy, sailing among faces of such fairness. It's true. Most of these men wouldn't accept you as a captain. So what fair role would complement such unfairness? I'll be your quartermaster. Nothing less. All right. And as quartermaster, have you any immediate counsel for this Tyro captain? Rest and repast would do us good before Nassau. Water for drinking. Hunting for food and repairs. Well reasoned, sir. Hunting, that shall be. We'll find a decent place to drop anchor. I spied a few items in the hold earlier. Powder and a few pistols. I think I'll fashion a second holster if I can. <laughs> it's a good start. One you find laughable. Could we talk a moment about the condition of the ship? What's the trouble? I had a walk about the gun deck this morning and couldn't stand for what I saw. A clutter of linstocks heaped like tinder and one with a slow match still burning. Christ. And just nearby, two barrels of gunpowder, closer than man and wife. Fit to explode at the touch of a spark. We'll stow ours good and proper. As for the cannons, they might as well be tossed. Clogged touch holes in need of scraping, corrosion on the bodies, barrel swabs as naked as knives, and breech ropes so rotted, I could use them for knitting yarn. The short of it is, we need good equipment kept in fine condition. But we cannot win every battle with snares and shouts. So worry about your own armaments when it suits you. But don't forget about your jackdaw as well. No, indeed. We'll make it a point to keep this ship and its crew in fine condition. Boy, Captain, find what you need. My needs and wants are oceans apart, mate. But I did fashion myself a new holster. All I need now is a pistol to lie in it. Yeah. Taken from the holds, just as you said. Little more than a blowpipe. But it'll do. So, are we rested? Or should we idle a while longer? Best way, Anchor. I think the crew is itching to reach civilization. You'll find no civilization in NASA. But it's a fine place to be merry all the same. Captain Queer Nabs, tell me I'm under arrest. Tell me! Damn your breads. Fly away, boy, oh, back to your master. Aye, we was privateers together before the wars ended. I'll see you ashore.
By God, you're a sight for salty eyes. Come you in and have a drink. Morning, all. Why can't we? Who's this? Adewale, the Jackdaw's quartermaster. Jackdaw. <laughs> you named your brig after a poxy bird. Adi, these lads are the better part of our growing confederacy here. Ed Thatch, Ben Hornigold, James Kidd. You let him carry a pistol, do you? Peace, Ben. Ade saved my life. And now we're looking to find a crew to fill out the rest of my ship. Well, there's scores of capable men about. We use caution. A shipload of the King's sailors showed up a fortnight back, causing trouble and knocking about like they own the place. All right. I'll see who I can muster. Cheers, Adi. Just in time, can we? Now you'll want to sail somewhere rich with plunder. Have you heard of a place called the Observatory? Aye. It's an old legend. Like El Dorado or the Fountain of Youth. What have you heard? It's meant to be a temple or a tomb, hiding a treasure of some kind. That's it. You see here. Oh, oh rot. It's fairy stories you prefer a gold, is it? It's worth more than gold, Thatch. Ten thousand times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. Robbing the king to pay his porpoises is how we earn our keep here, lad. That ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. Kenway. Not a bad looking tinderbox you got there. You sound a bit green, horny gold. Is it envy? Because mine's bigger than yours. No, I reckon it's this Jamaican funk. I prefer the Spanish stuff. So, you've got yourself a fancy brig now. Fine. Well, I'm going to teach you how to say it all right. And how to take a prize the proper way. Thatch, we'll catch you up at the old fishing village. Aye. Where's your helmsman, Kenway? I take pride in piloting my own ships, Ben. Keeps me alert. Mm -hmm. 
Let's make some headway, shall we? I've no need for schooling. How many prizes did we take together as privateers? <laughs> There's a chasm of difference between joining a raid and captaining one. We're looking out for merchants, boys! Them that's fat with cargo! Find us a schooner with that spyglass, can we? You'll get yourself a glimpse of what sort of cargo they're shipping, and a general idea of their toughness. Take out your glass, Kenway. Schooners are too small to peep with a naked eye. Hold hearty, lads! Fill those men! Trifling with me, lad. Take out your spyglass. <clears throat> Fire what cannons you will, and land a few strikes if you must. But for God's sake, don't sink her. It's no fun fishing cargo out of the sea. Although it can be done. Tengo un buen día, señor. I am Captain Hornigold, and this is my crew. We're sailors like yourselves, but quite unalike in our purpose. For we intend to take all that you own. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English! L little bit. Tell your friends we're stealing your goods. And we won't hurt nobody if everyone stays as still as a sandbar. You got that? Uh, uh, please do repeat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lock them in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. Shaky feeling sailing about with this much stolen cargo. Get used to it. We'll need to take a few more prizes to make this a profitable day. Kenway. Half a dozen scores of that size and you'll be set for a year. Now let's sell this cargo and fix up your jack door with a few more trinkets. Sod it, yeah. 
I'm looking for a prize that will set me up for life. I'll be king of the West Indies, then. We came to Nassau to get away from the likes of kings. Well, I'll be a man of property and promise anyway. Jesus, let that dream go, lad. Nassau is the place to be, not England. Do you ever dream of the big score? A ship so full of gold and silver, you just split it and sail home. Sure, but it's only a dream. Every man hopes to find a dozen chests of gold with no owners. They're as rare as an honest king. Not a bad take today. Keep this up and Nassau will be the first city where men and women may live as God made them. Easy and free. All it takes is a few drops of blood, sweat, and a swatch of cloth. We fly no colors out here, but praise the lack of them. So let the black flag signal nothing but your allegiance to man's natural freedoms. This one's yours. Light proud. I will. I hand over the docket I lend you. If we're to keep our Republic afloat, we'll need guns as well as gold. That means attacking the Navy. So long as they're flying King Philip's colors will not offend our own monarch. As you've likely seen, the number of merchants roving these waters is three score the number of military ships. Aye, easy purchase, but in small doses. Right. So to lure the Navy out of hiding, it's best to cause a bit of mischief. Catch a few small fish to attract the big ones. That's right. So plunder and pillage as you see fit, Captain Kenway. Military class brig on the horizon. Good eye, man. Are you ready for this, Kenway? She won't go down without an honest fight. Who's up for taking that brig, lads? Show die! That's a sound I like to hear. Pipe to quarters. All hands to cannons. Careful around the Navy. They're as likely to ram you as fire a broadside. Let's test those powder barrels. Shall we? Fine. Good thinking. was a rumble by God. How do we fare? A fine purchase, no mistake. Now I think it's time to lay low and bribe our way back into secrecy. Agreed. So how do we get rid of this notoriety we've stirred up? Money, my boy. A well-placed bribe to the right government official. To see the military off your tail. Right, let's do that. I'll need to meet these good Samaritans at some point. Smart thinking.
¿Necesita algo? You're a wonder, Kenway. You've a knack for this kind of work. It ain't work if you love it. Ah, ah, it's But I ain't doing this forever, lads. Only until I get enough coin to buy some land and influence back home. <laughs> Jesus, will you listen to your tripe? Still dreaming on about that strumpet back in England when you could have any better you wanted here and now. Ah, such lofty goals for you gents. And here I thought I was in the company of scoundrels. Fine purchase today. What's the crew's mood? All smiles and no teeth. And there's a few talking about meeting with Master Kid to steal from a nearby plantation. Plantation? That's ambitious. Profitable too, if we can manage it. Aye. It's a good idea. Why, look, it's the bastard son of the late William Kidd. Still a mere boy, and yet ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, Kenway. Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that had earned you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Just the sort I like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. Yeah. The prices Mr. Beckford knows are fair. And with a quality he knows is sound. I wish hearty molasses and raw cane. That's a given. It gladdens me to hear your say, sir. But despite the waywardness of your enterprise here, I understand that you are men of discernment. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. And it's a good harvest this year. You might not talk so loud, sir. This is a friendly war again. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with a chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you see, sir. All up and up, well, boys. We're going home. Man crafting a bold idea. Look, I've seen before. You mark well, Addy. 
I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? Was it water they boiled? Or something else? Cane juices. The hard process making sugar. Dangerous, too. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like? Toiling on a plantation day and night. Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers across the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the water from the sugar. This we did in tatches with the copper. Let me tell you, brother, boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin, the stick like wood line and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. Don't go, but me! It's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation will catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackdaw. such disarray. Bit of a do, sir, that's all. It's Wellington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. No bother, sir. We have everything sorted. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pilots, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though, for a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. What the hell is going on here today? How do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able to stand? to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? Is there no one sober here? Fetch me the warehouse key, if you please. Get back here! We've lost a friend. He's dead in me sights! <laughs> Thank you.
Here's to our pirate republic, lads. We're prosperous and free and out the reach of kings, clergy, and debt collectors. Near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in Nassau. Not a bad number. True. Yet we lack sturdy defenses. If the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Would make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat. And slow. <laughs> Your jackdaw handles nice. Pinched her from the Spanish. Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure ship was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds would be ours was sunk that day. Devil love a hurricane. Might have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well. That's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I mostly agree. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. Easy as she goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. Don't saw your breeches, lads. I got this. monster look at the size of her aye and we'd not last long face to face with her hear that can we keep your distance we'll strike when fortune favors the cover of darkness most likely aye it may come to that reckless as they come an old friend of yours not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long, I can't help but respect him. Waters Kenway! Charles Vane slinking off with his tail between his legs. That's good news for us. Bleeding bastards! We'll have to deal with this skirmish fast. Forget the galleon, and send these interlopers to hell! Triple up! Fire up! Fire up! Fire up! Down they go! sailing for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. And maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard.
Gentlemen, as is custom among our kind, we do not plunge headlong into folly on the orders of a single madman, but act according to our own collective madness. <laughs> the object of our attention is a square-rigged galleon, and we want her for the advantage she'll bring Nassau. So I'll put it to the vote. All those in favor of storming this cove and taking this ship. Stomp and shout I! Those who oppose, whimper nay. Never was the King's Council so unified.
Alto. See that the cargo is secure! You remember the gift you gave me? Well, it answers just fine. Mr. Putra! As bold as a musket ball, and still half as sharp! I'm sorry about this, mate. But I can't risk you telling your Templar friends about me still kicking around. I pity you, Bukenye. After all you have seen, after all we showed you of our order, still, you embrace the life of an ignorant and aimless rogue! Ah. What's this? Is petty larceny the extent of your ambition? Have you no mind to comprehend the scope of ours? All the empires on Earth abolished, a free and open world without parasites like you! Que l'enfer que tu trouveras soit le fruit de ton insouciance. The cove is ours! I just saw you were logging out, so I thought I'd stop by and give you something. A little welcome gift. We give awards to our top-notch employees for doing quality work. And they're nice to have, since there's no official bonus scheme here. I already have about 11 or so. Oh. Bonjour. Of course. I'll pass it on. Well, looks like Olivier wants to meet with you. It's exciting. Follow me. It's on the top floor, so it's not hard to find. But the rest of this building can be confusing to first-timers, so we had the tools team whip up a great map application. Check your communicator. I added a waypoint to Olivier's office. Should be easy to find. Olivier's a nice guy. He won't bite. this Abstergo Enterprise, in charge of all the techie stuff. Do you have a minute of... Oh, ah, oh, damn it. The tracker says you're on your way to Olivier's office. Ah, all right. I'll ping you when you're done. I have a favor to ask. Bonjour. Go right in. He's waiting for you. Well, well, unless you are specifically ordering me to abandon it, I won't uh, jeopardize our flagship project. Edward Kenway is the... But this is... But this is how Hollywood got its start, right? With pirate movies. Douglas Fairbanks, Errol Flynn, and now we have access to the real deal. Wait, wait. Exactly. We'll talk about all that together at the shareholders' event. Right. 
Looking forward to seeing you too. Take care, Letizia. Salut! Hi! Thanks for coming in. I know you're busy. So, I review some of your data. Pretty raw stuff. Obviously, we need to scrub off some of the dirt to make it family-friendly. Maybe give Edward a voice like uh, James Bond or something. More of a ladies' man. A beautiful city, no? So, the main reason I asked you here concerns is something called the Observatory. It's uh, been mentioned a few times in the footage you found. I'd like to encourage you to focus on locating this specific set of memories as soon as possible. If it were up to me, on s'en I wouldn't bother. But some bigwigs at Abstergo Industries have been hounding me for days. So, follow whatever leads you find and hopefully we can... Oh, incoming call. I have to take this. We'll keep in touch. Bonne journée. Alan, bonjour. Oui, 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 tout va bien. Naturellement. Hi, John from IT again. You got a second? Good. I'm adding a waypoint to your map. So, uh, a colleague of yours left for vacation this morning and forgot to send a video file she promised me. Since I hate just about everyone else on your floor, I was hoping you could help me. Could you transfer the file from her computer? and deliver it to the courier when she comes. It'll be easy. You just wander over to their animus, log in, and transfer the file. Easy. And please be snappy, before I find a reason to hate you, too. A locked door? <laughs> Not a problem. That's the advantage of me having level one security clearance. Now, you do, too. Don't abuse it. Log on, and I'll walk you through this. Now, you need to bypass the core to find the data inside. Once you reach it, your communicator will download it automatically. You need to find your way around the core to reach the data inside. You cracked it. Good. The file should be downloading. I set up a database for any data you find. Just look for the My File section in your communicator and you'll be redirected right away. Everything you download will be found in there. Uh, protected by a firewall, of course. December 23rd, 2012. Sample Recovery Unit Team Lead Fisher Case reporting on Subject 17, Desmond Miles. The subject was deceased and unattended. Time of death was placed around 0 hundred hours and 7 minutes with conditions favorable for DNA sample recovery. We had some initial concerns about interference in the vault, but given the skill and talent of this team, we were able to capture useful data. I personally retrieved the subject's backpack and extracted a number of objects of interest to undergo detailed analysis. The subject displayed burns to the right hand, severe enough to fuse the bones, indicating some kind of spontaneous, intense burn trauma. Honestly, we've never seen anything like it before. Head, neck, and torso remained in good condition. I hand-selected recovery agents to retrieve fluid samples, blood and saliva. We then commenced material extraction and were able to preserve several exemplary samples. Data analysis and sequencing is already underway and I'm told proceeding with exceptional ease Thanks to the cloud database and the work of Abstergo Sample Recovery Unit 3, the legacy of Subject 17 will continue uninhibited as Sample 17. Oh, you're better at this than I'd hoped. Now zip on down to the lobby, come on. See, that file you acquired? I wouldn't recommend watching it. I mean, you could but it's unpleasant. So once you hand it off, just pretend this never happened, okay? Otherwise, you'll just go to bed feeling sad. Anyway, the courier should be waiting downstairs. She's been here a while. I suppose it goes without saying, just because you now know how to hack all your colleagues' computers, it doesn't mean you should. I mean, not every day, right? <laughs> no, seriously, though, that's illegal. Well, below my skill level. Yeah, well, your coffee is shit. You could use some practice. What? No, 
no, no, no. I followed that recipe. Oh, look who's here. So you didn't forget, after all, you're just incredibly rude. And made poor Rebecca here wait for nearly 30 minutes. You lie me. Be nice. Sorry about him. He's high on his own supply. So, how should we do this? Data transfer? Great. That should do it. We'll email you the receipt. Till next time. Take care, Sean. Bye-bye. Yes, bye. And don't expect any more free coffee. Arrogant. She's great, isn't she? Hey, I just got word the courier has come and gone. Wonderful, you're a miracle. No, 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 that's an exaggeration. You're not a miracle. You're an employee. Doing a job. But thanks for helping out. Anyway, thanks. Have fun pirating. Assistance au niveau 2, projet échantillon 17. Support to the second floor, sample 17 project. 